Hi friends, welcome to the channel of Learning by Doing. Today we are going to talk about some more basic concepts in Java language. And uh, yesterday we talked about uh, what are the uh, some microsystem division concepts, I mean Java concepts. They divide the Java concepts at Java Micro Edition and the Java Standard Edition and the Java Enterprise Edition. And now I'm going to talk about some more important points of Java because I'm not just targeting about just learning about Java by learning Java we have to get some software jobs because these are all the questions where in the software industry in the entry questions all these concepts are getting um, popular in the interview types of questions that is what is uh, I already said to you that Java is mainly used for the internet applications right um, that's why we are having more demand on the Java language and coming to the internet applications I already discussed to you about the standalone applications and the web applications and all this uh, what is uh, what is the internet application and what are the types of the internet applications we are going to see today types of internet applications I'm again saying you that Java is mainly used uh, because uh, and got this much demand only because of the internet applications running. The internet applications are of two types that is web supported applications and web applications. What is the difference between the web supported applications and the web applications is nothing but. See here in the client system that is we are the clients and we have to request for the server for some program that is I'm giving a request uh, for some program uh, to the server system then the server directly sends that program to me and it was executed in my system and the output and the result I can see in my system that is nothing but the web support to application let uh, let me make you some more clear that is well uh, we are talking about java right so i'm talking about uh, the java concept itself that is whenever we are requested for the jdk application uh, from our client system that is from our system i'm going to request through the internet to the server that is i want the jdk software then directly the jdk software was going to be installed in your pro uh, that program was directly sent to your system then we have to execute that uh, program in our system and we have to run that program to get the output in our system itself the server doesn't do anything it just sends uh, um, whatever we want I mean I'm asking for the JDK means it sends the program of the JDK I mean the software of the JDK to me and if I'm asking for the Eclipse then it sends the software of the Eclipse to me this is nothing but the web support your application and next I'm going to tell you about another type of the internet application that is web application we talked about the web uh, support your application now and now we are going to talk about web application what is mean by the web application is nothing but the browser I mean the client system browser was going to request for a program then it doesn't directly send the program to our client it executes the program what the, what we are asking about and it gets the output in the server system itself and it directly sends the output to our system I mean like the client system then from this what you uh, what example we can say for this is the social media like uh, the Facebook we are the client system will uh, going uh, and requesting for the Facebook account the uh, server system doesn't send all the Facebook uh, software to you and you doesn't need to execute that Facebook concept I mean sorry that Facebook software in your system and you doesn't execute that and that you doesn't get the output from that but what we do is what the server system will do is if we request for the Facebook login then it will take uh, that program that request as a program and it will execute in the form of by asking your user ID and password and it takes the output 
uh, it gets the output in the server system itself and it sends that output to you as your web page i mean like facebook page the facebook page whatever you are seeing is the uh, output of what you have given as a program that is the request that you have sent through by login and through that login it executed in their uh, server system and it uh, checks in their database that it was the new person or already existed person and all this execution process was run in the server system and then the output of the uh, of those uh, credentials and all this is your facebook page that facebook page was opened in your browser that is nothing but the web application i hope you understood all the basics of uh, the java and let me tell you one more thing that you're all thinking the java was mainly uh, divided through the sun microsystems in three concepts that is uh, the micro edition soft standard edition and the enterprise edition but we are all talking about the core java advanced java j2e frameworks and all this but what are all these these are all the concepts which were introduced i mean these are all not the concepts which were said by the sun microsystems but these are all the concepts which was introduced by the software industry people okay guys uh, i i made you some more clear and uh, for uh, what are all the technologies that we need to use for developing a web support your application is applets we need to know about the applets for developing a web support your application and for developing a web application we need to know the knowledge of servlets and jsp and i already said to you that software industry concepts of java are they divided the concepts of java into four categories this is as core java advanced java j2e and the frameworks and today uh, in this um, in this tutorial i'm going to talk about all these concepts in my further videos as data types and all these garbage collections string handling wrapper classes applets rings and all those and uh, for, for, for more brief information, if you are all thinking that uh, we need to install JDK, we need to install Eclipse and they said that JVM is a platform dependent and Java program is the platform independent, then why we need to install uh, uh, JDK? We can directly install the JVM into our system and we can run the programs because JVM is dependent but why we need to install the jdk and jre is the jdk means it is nothing but the java development kit in this java development kit we are getting two things uh, that is both the compiler what is the compiler here is jre jre is nothing but java runtime environment and jvm java virtual machine these both softwares are going to be installed in your system when you install the jdk but uh, when you install only jre in your system then we will only get the jvm that is nothing but the java virtual machines in your system then what is the difference if I install the JDK and JRA is when we install the JDK we can uh, create the programs, modify the programs, compile the programs and we can make uh, run the programs and the new applications and already developed applications and all these features we can do only when we install the JDK. And what we got when we install the jre means when we install only jre we can only execute the developed applications not we cannot create the new applications and we will ex uh, we can't execute or modify or or uh, compile all or the new applications but we only uh, execute the already developed applications when we install the jre so i recommend you all to install the jdk in your missions it's nothing but in your um uh, in your pcs okay guys so uh for installing the uh what do you say uh jdk we need to go for the google chrome and we need to just click as 
JDK installation that's what JDK install whatever you want then it directly shows you the first link as oracle.com www.oracle.com there the web page will look like this and uh, my net was very slow uh, like this and in this we are having sorry and in this we are having many uh, softwares here uh, the, uh, on our uh, I mean uh, for J JDK so uh, depending on your computer configuration or your laptop configuration that is of 64 bit or 32 bit you can download your JDK along with the JDK you need to download one more thing called uh, Eclipse Eclipse is the main thing that uh, we need to run our uh, what our programs uh, so uh, in our colleges we may use the different types of softwares for running this uh, java programs but uh, what we need to mainly uh, know about is uh, in our software industries many of them are using the eclipse so for that we need to click eclipse here eclipse is uh, just click here and it will open a web page the, of eclipse.org and there you can download any eclipse version and the here we got a new version of eclipse that is eclipse neon uh, second version so it was an advanced version with lots of plugins in it so it is better to install the eclipse for that um, what is meant by the Eclipse is nothing but the integrated development environment which is mainly used to run many types of programming languages not only uh, not only that uh, Java you can only not only the Java you can run through this you can run whatever the programming language you want to uh, run so you can just click the download here and the eclipse will get downloaded and just install it in your systems and from tomorrow we can talk about some more uh, basics of java and also the programming knowledge of java when you are get ready with your eclipse and jdks in your system after putting the jdk and eclipse in your system and after installing the jdk in your system you just have to do one more thing that you need to uh, create at the path for the um, java that is how to set the path for the java is nothing but uh, we need to uh, open our control panel one second i'm going to show you how to set the path for the uh, j i mean like jdk or anything i mean like java uh, we need to open the control panel in this we need to open the system and security and here we are having all these things uh, before that we need to copy this um, what uh, dot bin uh, in the C drive open your file explorer and in the C drive open your programming files of x86 and in that go for java search for java is there java here look here once more is there java already installed the java that's why i'm searching for java here in this i doesn't have java then we can go and search in the programming files again here i have java and here I have Java in the JDK, not in the JRE. Just open the JDK and just open the bin file of it and copy this um, copy this path and go to the advanced settings. Sorry, where is my control panel? Advanced system settings. Where is the advanced system settings of mine? Is administrative tools. Okay, not here. Advanced system settings. Um, we'll search here. Advanced system. Here, here I have in the system we are going to read the advanced system settings, and in this we are going to have the environment variables. 
and in this environment variables we need to create a new uh, new uh, variable name as path and you need to paste the path here in the value and we need to click ok and apply uh, if you are having if you uh, get confused of all those things uh, just you can click on the icon of the computer um, and you can click on sorry icon of the computer and you can click on the properties here you will just get this and uh, in this you can directly click on to the advanced system settings and you can directly click on to the environment variables this is what uh, you can easily do and that was the long process this was the easy process of doing and you can paste the paste your uh, uh, java path there and set the path and if your path was correctly running if your java was correctly installed or not means you have to open the command prompt and just write java c and wait for some time it uh, it's there it gives a lot of log like this if it was if it given like this then java was surely uh, installed in your system so get done with all those things in your system and we'll learn more things in our next video thanks for watching my video if you like my video subscribe to my channel thank you so much